Hello! So I have this book, A is for Asia, by Cynthia Chin Lee, illustrated by Yumi Hyo. And we are going to be looking at Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year's today, and we're going to focus on the dragon. So let me read this for you. N is for New Year, firecrackers bursting. During this Chinese holiday, dragon dancers romp through the streets. Families feast on dumplings, long life noodles, and fish. Children show off their new clothes, get red envelopes of money, which look like this, and paste paper cutouts of lucky characters on the windows and doors. So we've got this beautiful big dragon picture. Look at the people holding them up, holding it up as almost like a giant puppet. Look at the different curled lines, the letter U, ovals. There's lots of lines and shapes in here. Now I want to show you another illustration of this dragon dance in this book called D is for Dragon Dance. And we're going to go to that page right here. Look at this. Look how the heads are similar and different. So they have these big mouths, don't they? This one has sort of rounder eyes and a bigger nose. This one almost looks like a fish to me or an eel. This one has more of a dragon head. Look at the big kind of wavy body. So this is really just like a long shape. So we are gonna do a dragon body drawing, but we're gonna do it a lot simpler. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the page up and down. Instead of doing it like this, we're gonna do an up and down. Now you can still turn it, but this is how I'm gonna show you. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with shapes that I know, shapes that I know. And I'm going to start with the head and the head is going to be a triangle. So I'm gonna start right here with a letter V. Then I'm going to connect the V. That's a skinny V, yours could be a little bit wider. That looks like a slice of pizza. Okay, then I'm gonna draw a wavy line coming down. I'm gonna start at the top of my triangle and I'm gonna go here. Now it's gonna wave like a dragon, so you don't wanna go wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. I'm gonna wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it. It almost looks like a backward S, doesn't it? Okay, so now at the end of it, I'm gonna do another triangle, straight line, V. This triangle is a lot smaller. I have already gotten the, the beginning of my dragon body. So now I wanna use a different type of line to make the body thick. And basically, I'm gonna go from here and go on this side, almost like this is where the spikes on the back of the dragon are. Now you could do a couple different kinds of lines. You could do a wavy line. You could do a zigzag line. You could do a jumping line. Okay, so I am going to make a wavy line. So I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna do a wavy line. See how I'm not touching that middle line? Just making a wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, and then come right to the point. Now I'm gonna do it on the other side. I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna do wavy line, wavy line. If you run off the run out of room and have to go off the edge, that's okay. Wavy line all the way down, not touching that middle line. And then I'm gonna stop here. Look. I've already got the body. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the head. And the first thing I'm gonna do is two circle or ovals, two big ones, one, two. And you can do this on white paper. I just happen to have green paper. Then you can do little black circles. I'm gonna do little ovals on the bottom here. Now we need some big fire breathing nostrils. So I'm gonna do two circles at the bottom of my pizza pie, I mean my triangle. And there's gonna be two little nostrils, do do do. And then I think I want my dragon, because if I look at this picture here, he's got these long skinny things. So I'm gonna make some of those long skinny, long skinny piece. And then sometimes the dragons have horns, right? So I might add a little horn right here and right here. Those look like little moons. Don't they look like crescent shapes? Maybe I'll have another bigger ones coming off here. Big, 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 big. Okay, you could draw a little, I'm gonna just draw a few little lines here, just three little lines, but you could add some other things. Okay, 
Now the for the dragon dances, they typically don't have wings. If you wanted to add some wings, you could. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this. Now I wanna have some swirly, whirly fire coming off of here. And I just pretend like I'm drawing a number six. Look, it's about to be a six, but no, I keep curling in. And then I do another one where it looks like a J, but I keep curling in. I'm gonna have a bunch of these. You could do your fire in a different way, couldn't you? Absolutely. Now in the body, you can do scale-like drawings. You could do different lines and shapes. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a zigzag line and I'm gonna make this a pattern. So I'm gonna do a zigzag line and leave some space. I want you to use different lines and shapes to make your dragon. All right, so then let's see what else I could put. What kind of things could I put in here? I might put dots, look at those. So I would go down and I would add that to each piece, whatever I'm doing on one part, I'm doing the other. You can definitely try to do some scales. Um, I'm just gonna add some, I think little triangles on here. This is a fun, fun pattern, totally up to you. Now, if you want to add scales, Let's say I've got my little paper here. Let's say I did, that is an S. Look at that, that one is an S. Let's say on this one I did a zigzag on the outside. That's a little harder. I'm going very quickly right now. I don't recommend that. I want you to take your time. Whoa. And then let me just draw my face in here. Oh, you could do the eyes on the side. He looks a little sad. Okay. Maybe he's gonna have some fun eyebrows. And then maybe his fire comes looking like this. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the same as the one I did. Okay, this looks a little funny. I'm gonna fill this in a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to do my scale. So if I was gonna do my scales, I would just put little letter C's or U's. And the closer together you put them, they might look more realistic, but you could just fill that whole, the whole body with little C's or U's, okay? All right, so back to this one. You know, if I did wanna add, maybe I could add wings just coming off this side. Like he's got one, one wing here, and I'm just gonna connect that with the bouncy line. And there's my wing. And I could fill that with swirls, I could fill it with stripes. I'm gonna actually fill it with stripes, but you could put any kind of, you could make it a polka dotted wing. So there's that. Now this is gonna be like my dragon dance. Now you could turn this and you could make little sticks and you could have people holding them up just like here and just like here. Look at this, even these people in this illustration, these are a lot of shapes, triangles, circles, you could draw that. So. I think on mine, hmm, I might actually have the fire be what fills the background. So I'm just gonna have a lot of swirlies because I love some swirls. So that's gonna fill my background. And then I'm really gonna go in and take my time to color. And I think for me, let's see, I was gonna color this section in. I might actually skip, so not color that section, and I might do like a checkerboard pattern. I think crayon might work good on the color paper. If you have construction paper crayons, those are my favorite to use on construction paper. So then I'm gonna skip to this side and color on this one. The examples I have in my presentation are actually construction paper crayon on black paper. So I would skip that and then maybe I would do every other stripe in my wing purple. The purple looks good with the green, doesn't it? What if I colored all back here with black crayon so the dragon really popped out from the black background. So use these dragons as inspiration. Start with your shapes and lines that you already know, but then make it your own and come up with whatever background. You could do fireworks, you could do stars, you could do shapes. It is up to you. Good luck.